Welcome to the Equity Team Podcast, where we provide Sedona, Arizona real estate insight to help you thrive during your next real estate transaction. Welcome everyone to this new episode of the Equity Team Podcast. I'm here today with Allegra Brouillet, who is one of our top realtors on the team. And today we're going to dive deep into your specialty, which is anything architectural, design, interior, and um, we're gonna talk about the colors of Sedona and everything that makes it so unique. Um, so, hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back. Thank you. Um, let's, uh, let's start with the different architectural styles that we have around here in Sedona. I know some are specific to this area, some are specific to the United States. Um, can you give us a little bit of a breakdown of what we can expect to find over here on the market? Sure. So the majority of the homes that you'll see in the Sedona area are going to be Southwest style. There is a trend towards making it more modern um, with contemporary elements. So you'll see some of the red rocks. They'll bring stone into the faces of the facades of the building. Um, you'll see natural materials. So you'll see woods and metals, um, stucco on the out exterior. And that's going to be pretty standard uh, in the Sedona area is more of that Southwest style. Yeah. You are seeing more modern, especially interiors come into play in the Sedona area, um, as well as mid-century modern. Uh, you have a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired building up at the chapel. So you'll see some of that into the rocks. Um, and that's going to be the main styles that we see in this area. Yeah. And we actually have had a lot of uh, Frank Lord Wright's students come through this area and build various homes or even entire neighborhoods and they, it gives them this really unique um, uh, unique um, Character. characteristic yeah. and in the chapel area as you were mentioning earlier there are quite a few of them and around here in Sedona West uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to quickly circle back with what you said about the southwestern style. Yeah. Is this what you would call Santa Fe Pueblo kind of architecture that we're used to seeing in New Mexico and stuff? Um, we do have houses that are built within Adobe. Most of them are going to be built in stucco, um, but it's a similar feeling, I would mm. say, of what you see in New Mexico. Um, the goal of Sedona is to preserve the scenic beauty here. That's their yeah. development goal. So what you see is a lot of the colors will be one with the landscape. They're really trying to incorporate what you see outside is going to be what you see in the exterior of the home. So any of, we have a lot of greenery here. A lot of people think that because it's the desert, we don't have mm -hmm. a lot of greenery, which right now it's snowing. Yeah. Um, and so you'll see deeper colors uh, and then also those red earthy tones, warm tones to kind of blend in seamlessly with mm -hmm. the scenery. Mm -hmm. um, we also have some restrictions on what you can can actually put as colors on the exterior of your home. So yeah. they have a specific light reflective value that they will require for Sedona, um, which tends to be a mid to a deeper tone, uh, as well as they have light restrictions because we, which amazingly so, are a dark sky mm -hmm. uh, town. So you can't put anything lights that are going up into the sky or directly out, but they have to be facing down, which preserves these amazing night uh, skies that we see here. Yeah. Um, and the beauty of the area. So, yeah. um, you know, there are some restrictions, but always for the best because you really feel when you go out hiking that there's not a ton of houses, but that's really all nature surrounding you. Yeah. Um, so that's fantastic for us as residents here. Yeah, so that's part of the, the land development code that we have here. Correct. So any new construction, any remodel, um, they're always gonna look at the colors that you're selecting. And as we were saying, you we're gonna steer away from the more Satan and gloss and go more towards the matte because Correct. that's how the color is absorbed and, and fades into the environment a lot better. Yeah, you won't see glossy uh, finishes uh, as well as you know materials that are shiny and reflective. You're not gonna see that. Um, yeah. One interesting fact about Sedona is it's one of the only places in the world that you will see McDonald's arches that are not yellow because yeah. the sign codes are so specific. <laughs> um, we have turquoise arches, so yeah. that's something that is allowed here, yeah. is turquoise, not yellow. So you won't see homes that are yellow or purple or some kind of bright tone yeah, and that no white. sticks out. We don't have any white. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the light tones as well. It's pretty surprising because a lot of the buildings in the rest of the country are white and you know it's something pretty basic and you come here like, wait, I realize I never see the white unless it snows. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> unless it snows. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And so, so what about um, like when when you're let's say you're a new buyer and you get a property on the market and and you find it, you're really you're in love with it, but obviously it's maybe a little bit outdated. Mm -hmm. uh, it was built in the seventies. Uh, in the case of the the, the, the mid-century, it was built, yeah. you know, in the 90s, which was like kind of the renaissance of the Southwestern style. Yeah. Um, so maybe the interior is a little bit outdated. Um, what can we do, you know, how can you really grasp the, the entirety of what a remodel project could look like uh, today in 2023? Well, I think the goal with some of these older homes that a lot of people will say, I just want to put modern and make it, you know, a splash of something fresh and new but the idea for designers is really to integrate the architectural style of the home and character maintaining that and making mm -hmm. it fresh so instead of choosing like a cool gray we might go with a traditional neutral that has greener or warmer undertones to maintain the style of the home as well as color palette so if you have a mid-century modern home and then you put a cool gray on the walls it's going to feel completely out of place because yeah. there are color palettes that go along with that style of the home so i yeah. would encourage you as you know a home buyer and just in general you can obviously do whatever you want with your home but i think as part of maintaining the structural um, and architectural elements in that place you can accentuate them by using colors and that's a really nice way to actually bring a new um, face to the home is just by painting it. It's yeah. a cheap fix um, yeah. as well as you can really add a lot of character or take it away for that matter. Yeah. Even lighting, um, if you use warm tones, it will yeah. make everything feel warmer and brighter and happier mm -hmm. um, depending on the direction. So if your home is facing north, you're going to have, you know, tend to have grayer and cooler tones uh, coming in from the light. So mm -hmm. choosing something with a little bit warmer pigment, like, you know, yellows and creams and things that warmer reds, terracottas. Um, will actually accentuate that light and not make it feel so dark. Mm. So I think there are a lot of uh, design elements to consider with the light and the architectural style of the home and the colors that you choose. That dark isn't necessarily bad, for example, mm. as long as you want it to feel cozy and warm. You yeah. know, like I did one of my living rooms in a dark gray and it felt really warm and mm. inviting and I wanted to sit in there and yeah. people wanted to commune there. So yeah. I think it's really... Um, what is the style of your home, uh, first and foremost? What's the feeling that you want in your home? Because if you want it to be calm and soothing, then I would do tones that are in the similar color range. I wouldn't mm. do opposites on the color spectrum. Mm. So like red and green would be opposites. I would do something that were, you know, if it's green, then lighter or darker shades of that with a little bit more gray added in. So things that are similar to it, so it feels soothing. Right. Right. So I think those are important elements to add when you're thinking of the colors of your home as well as the character that you want to accentuate. So if you have an architectural detail like beams in your home, um, do I want to paint them? What color am I going to do them? If I have cabinets and floors, how does everything match together? Yeah. Um, and then if you're doing a full renovation, besides just the paint, some really important things to consider are the bathrooms in the kitchen. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of it's like, like going to a restaurant, right? Mm. You never want to go in and see like a dirty bathroom or a dirty kitchen, you'd be concerned. Um, yeah. And I think it's the same for a home is that yeah. if we see a kitchen that's new um, and updated uh, with nice uh, fixtures as well as um, new appliances and uh, nice countertops, things yeah. of that nature, then people will be more apt to want to purchase that home if yeah. you are in the resale market yeah. um, than they would be if it was an old kitchen and they have to redo it because it's a big renovation project for them. They don't know where to start and also what do they put in there. So if you create that for them, then I think it's a lot easier to sell your property. Yeah, I think that's a really great tip um, when you're listing a property and when you're wanting to sell um, as a homeowner, if your home is outdated and you do have a little bit of budget that you could put into it, like kitchens and bathrooms and paints, these are things that are, they're not necessarily complicated. Um, you, you can do it pretty easily if yeah. you have a contractor that knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, but at, as long as it's going to be like freshly renovated, it's just going to make such an impact. It's going to make such a difference and the value of your home is going to skyrocket because um, immediately these are the two areas that the people look out for the most and uh, it's just going to make your, your selling process a lot a lot easier and a lot more buyers interested because yeah. uh, 
even though you have buyers that love doing renovations and I personally love doing renovations, yeah. some people don't want to, they just want to move into their house. And it's kind of like turnkey and moving ready. And if a lot of if the kitchen, the bathroom, especially are super outdated, um, they, they may reconsider buying the house. Yeah. And I think it also makes the home feel old. Yeah. Um, the same if you have the shag carpets from the seventies or whatnot, uh, even just putting in simple flooring, uh, that looks a little bit more modern, doesn't have to be real wood. You yeah. Know? Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive. Like we have yeah. these luxury vinyls today, you know, they you can get amazing. them for like four or five dollars per square foot yeah. and they look and feel really good and they're super sturdy as well. I mean, if you're uh, buying it to turn it into a rental or something like that, I mean, uh, the luxury vinyl is the way to go because you, you know that you're going to put it in once and you're not going to think about it for like five, ten years, even if you have heavy foot traffic in your, in your house. So. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely a big mm -hmm. plus. And I think a lot of people, I personally look for it uh, in homes as well as the flooring yeah. because you want to feel comfortable, like the floor is the base ground level and you want to feel grounded and that you like being in that space. And yeah. then everything builds up from there. So mm -hmm. the walls, you know, how they're painted, how you feel in that space and then the flow into the other room. So if you are doing a remodel, like which direction am I moving into the space? How does the color flow into that area? Yeah. Am I choosing something that's welcoming? And uh, speaking of uh, remodel, is that something that sometimes you help your clients with? I do. Yeah, I've done, uh, I used to work with an interior designer in uh, one in New York and then one in Los Angeles, uh, very high end residential, some celebrity A-list clients, uh, which was really fun. And I do do that here in Sedona a bit, yeah. um, you know, keeping with the style of the home. If they're doing a full remodel, um, sometimes we'll need to bring engineering depending on the scope right. of the project. If you're changing the layout, if, yeah. you're, if you're adding... Uh, a room or removing walls or making a really big bay window in a wall that was brick before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, the contractors here are great, so they can kind of do anything, but yeah. uh, concept and design, I definitely do help my clients with that. Um, color as well, which I think is very important, mm. interior and exterior. Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, well, was there anything else that you wanted to add on that topic? Um, yeah, I would just say, you know, not to be afraid of it because there's so many things that people come into and they're like, oh, where do I even start? And I think um, if you get some inspiration images for what you want, even if you're looking to buy a home, mm. like what are you actually looking for and how important is that to you? Because some people really care and others don't. Yeah. Um, so if you say, I really like Southwest Homes, then keep to that your truth of saying, I'm just going to look for Southwest homes because that's what I love, yeah. knowing that's one of the styles here. Yeah. If you want something super modern or if you're okay with doing a remodel, I think it's helpful for you to know as a, you know, a potential buyer or even as, you know, seller for your next home, what do I want? What do I feel comfortable in? Because yeah. you can look at what's trendy, but really what's important is what you like yeah. because trends come in and out. And that's mm -hmm. the idea of something that's, you know, contemporaries, oh, this is the trend and the hot thing now. Yeah. And these counters look great. And this is the modern style. And I see it all in the magazines. But what do you like? Maybe mm -hmm. what you like is those earthy tones with the brass and the wood and warm, you know, yeah. warmer tones, which would be my preference. So mm -hmm. that's in style now, but maybe 10 years from now it comes out and then comes back in. So really yeah. know what you want and then look for that because home is where you should be really at one with yourself, you yeah. know? Yeah, rejuvenating. Exactly. Going back home after a long day of work and just feeling and so great. Just to be love home. your space. Just There's just nothing space. better than that. <laughs> Walking the hallway, every time you open a door to a room, you're like, oh, I love this room. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I That's love this what you kitchen want. pull. It just soft close. <laughs> That's what you want. All right. Well, yeah. Um, hopefully they understand that if they need anything, any question and they want Absolutely. guidance, they can completely reach out to you and you love doing that and you have a huge background in it yeah. and uh, it's not scary and you know, we can tackle and create a really unique piece for any Absolutely. different client and that's really what's exciting. So thank you so much, Allegra. You're welcome. It was nice to have you on this podcast again thank you. and uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Equity Team Podcast. To speak with one of our top agents, visit us at owninaz.com. That's O-W-N-I-N-A-Z.com. Or call us at 928-323-0031.